You put out some controversial tweets or taken as controversial, criticising various things of the way Joshua has been managed, etc. I mean, do you want to expand on those? No, you know, I just thought, I just, my, my feelings were, well, why take him out of Wembley? Why take him out of his hometown? I mean, I know what the money, what the answer is, but the answer is money. But at the end of the day, you know, keeping a fighter unbeaten, keeping him with a heavyweight championship of the world, that for me was the most important thing. I said a month before this was a, this was a massive banana skin for Anthony Joshua because he had nothing to gain. He had nothing to gain. You know, maybe they say a bit apart from money. Obviously, that was the the big the big thing. But you know, they took him out of his out of you know his comfort zone and. Um, I think he, complacency, you know, we saw that with, with the best with Lennox Lewis, you know, against Oliver McCall, Hasim Rackman, where complacency come into it. The big warning sign for me was, was Miami Beach training camp. And I just thought, well, it's the last place I would ever take a fighter is to Miami Vice. Oh, sorry, Miami Beach. It's, um, it's, not, it's not the way to train, you know. I'm, you know, and I think next time, if Andy Joshua, it'll be off to Siberia. With a with a with a rocky team, and he'll do it right. I mean, there was lots of rumours after the fight about various things. Joshua on a panic attack, which doesn't sound very feasible to me. But um, and various other rumours about him getting knocked out, or at least dropped badly in sparring. I mean, what do you think of those stories? Do you know, the stories will will always come. At the end of the day, Anthony Joshua is like all of us. He's flesh and blood. You know, he's a human being. Um, some great great fighters have been knocked out and beaten. Um, and, and you know, it's not about it's not about that. You know that happens to to the best people in the world. It's about what he does now. It's about you know what the team do now. You know I, I get concerns when I see you know Team Joshua and there's 25 people in that camp, and I think well what, you know what are 20 of them doing? You know and and it's about time, you know it's time to get your to get your feet back on the floor and. Um, and work hard. I mean, I've got a lot of respect for Anthony Joshua. He's a great guy, um, and a, you know, an excellent fighter, a great fighter. But you know, he needs to get, he needs to get back to basics. You know, he needs to get back to what took him to to the championship of the world. Do you think Joshua possibly he lost his hunger a little bit? Well, it's very easy to lose your hunger when you're making millions and millions of pounds. You, know, you haven't got any hunger, have you? So it's, it's it's hard to keep that. But I think he lost his professionalism a little bit. Can can Joshua win the rematch? Do you know what? That's a hundred million dollar question. I think, I think Joshua has lost. He's lost. He's lost that, um, that thing about him. You know that that aura of invincibility, that aura of strength. Um, he's lost that. It was like my, um, Mike Tyson when he got beat off Buster Douglas. All of a sudden, every every snicker eaten fighter in the world will be looking to to knock him out. So his next fight is the hardest. I think he's I think he's good enough to come back and regain the title. But I think it's gonna be very, very hard and it really it really does depend on, on what you know, how much he wants it. Because Andy Ruiz will be out there and he will want to keep that belt belts.